Hi, Jimmy Teague here with uh, Phoenix Home Inspections. Always try to show you guys tips on how to save you some money uh, and a little bit of projects that I've got going on. Uh, been super busy this season. Uh, I actually planned on like four months ago working on these cabinets, getting them ready. And cabinets, countertops are like super expensive. And if you're looking at doing a project, trying to find out how you could save you some money and you know you really don't have a lot of money to spend uh, something you could do is get on like facebook marketplace uh, look at the ads a lot of times people want to redo their kitchens their bathrooms and they pull out their old cabinets and then because they want instead of the oak style they want white or what have you and so they just go and buy it and really what you can do is you can paint your own cabinets and you can get free cabinets we had a good friend that we saw on um, Facebook that actually was remodeling their kitchen. I'm putting a bar in uh, down in my basement and you can see all these cabinets and including some of the countertops uh, were given to us. So we've took all the doors off and uh, I kind of got them ready to go. But man, those look gorgeous. Uh, they, they're turned out really well and I want to show you or tell you the steps to take first thing is when you get a cabinet you need to clean them off uh, This is great stuff. It's called TSP uh, You blend it with water follow the instructions You want to wash your cabinets down because if they came from the kitchen more than likely they got bacon grease uh, if they're from the bedrooms uh, I'm sorry bathrooms. They'll have hairspray on them if you've ever painted a door like in a bathroom or anything like that and you put the paint on it what happens is that paint will actually peel right off because of the uh, hairspray even though you washed it down it still has residue this TSP actually gets it pretty well clean so whenever I get ready to do these cabinet doors I mean I've already done this side that's what it looks like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually hit it with a primer I'm using kills uh, I think a sensor one two three or something like that uh, sells a great product as well um, I tell you what, I did it with a brush. The brush sucked because uh, I had to sand it and being outside bugs and stuff got in it. Get you one of these rollers. Believe it or not, you can actually, because of the foam, as long as you don't push down hard on it, you can get all the edges and everything with this. The problem with this roller is it's a pain in the butt to wash. Um, so I washed it twice, rinsed it out. But anyway, I'm going to put two coats of primer on this. I'm going to seal it up. More primer you use on it. Primer allows the product will bond to the wood and allows the paint to bond to that uh, primer so that way it stays on there really well. And um, the more primer you put on it, I'd say the less paint you have to use because the primer really covers up the collar pretty well. So once I do that, I'm going to paint these um, on my cabinets. Uh, I'm gonna, I still got to wash these down. Where I got any these edges, I'm going to run blue tape. And the reason why I say blue tape is because it's easy to pull off. So that way when I come around here, I can hit these edges really fast without getting paint on the inside. If I get paint on the inside, you might as well just paint the whole inside because it's a lot quicker. But uh, once I get that done, I'm going to put it all together. But um, those are the steps if you actually want to redo a uh, cabinet and paint them or even your doors is wash it with a TSP, hit it with a primer that's... Um, designed for it and make sure your paint is designed for cabinets and whether if you're doing like exterior doors make sure it's a good exterior paint but hopefully this gives you some tips and you know this whole project here uh shoot i'm gonna say i've got oh i want to say 50 60 bucks in it um i'll probably have another hundred uh or so in it because of the handles <laughs> as no handles so if i put the handles on it i'm sure I'm probably looking at 100 dollars $200 easy. But anyway, until next time, if you need a home inspection, look me up. Phoenix, uh, it's P-H-O-E-N-I-X, inspections, LLC.com. Um, yeah, I've got some bookings available. Only that's the reason why I'm doing this is because it's nice and quiet. Uh, well, I got at least two days off. Um, then I, my busy, my week's picking back up. But if you need inspection, look me up. Thanks. Until next time, catch you later. Mm, bye.